The last game of round one in the Rugby World Cup will be Wales taking on Fiji. Now this game is a hard one to predict. Both sides will be looking for their first win of the competition, helping propel themselves up Pool C. But in this video, we will be letting you know exactly who are in the starting lineups and reserves for these two teams before their opening fixture. But looking through at the Welsh front row, it will be Gareth Thomas at number one, Ryan Elias at two, and then number three, Thomas Francis. So relatively strong in that department, somewhere that Fiji have been doing pretty decently lately is actually scrum time. So I think Wales knew that they had to go with a strong front row. And that is exactly what they have done. And the lock and Joe will be Will Rowlands at number four with Adam Beard as the number five. So of course with no Alan Wynn Jones means that you lose a lot of experience in that locking duo. Adam Beard looking to step up as that next number five in the loose board trail. It is Aaron Wainwright at number six. Number seven, they have gone with Jack Morgan. And then at number eight to Lupe Falatau, a man who we haven't seen in action for a little bit of time due to his injury, but now he is back. And this is going to be a big game to test him out because the physicality will be there between these two lineups. I'm looking forward to seeing if he can help his side get on the front foot. In the back line, it will be Gareth Davis at number nine. Number 10, they have gone with Dan Bigger, a man who has announced his retirement after this Rugby World Cup. But he would certainly love to help Wales get a long way in this competition. I feel like his work at fly half is what could help them do so. Out on the left wing, it is Josh Adams at number 11 in the midfield. Nick Tompkins at number 12. Number 13 being George North. So a combination that we didn't get to see in the game between Wales and South Africa. And also we didn't see Dan Bigger in that game. Alongside Liam Williams, quite a few changes late were made due to injuries. But a lot of those men back in the side now. Number 14, it is Lewis Reese Sammer, speedster, who will be looking forward to going head-to-head -head with Vinaya Habosi. And then number 15, to close out the Welsh starting lineup, it is... Liam Williams, very solid under the high ball. And I'm sure if there's any up and unders, they will be looking to that man to be able to take them. But off the Welsh bench, Elliot D, Corey Domachowski and number 18, Dylan Lewis, then Daff Jenkins at number 19, number 20. They have gone with Tommy Riffle. So sticking with the 5-3 split in this game, Wales, rather. Then a 6-2, number 21, Thomas Williams. Bit of experience, they're available for Wales if they do need it. Number 22, Sam Costello, who actually played pretty decently in that game up against the Springboks after being added into the lineup late. And then number 23 to close out the side, it will be Rio Dyer. But looking through now at this Fijian team who recently got themselves their first historic victory over the English. It was the first time the two sides had played in about eight years. But the Fijians, they wanted it more and they managed to walk away with the eight-point victory in the front row. It is Aroni Maui at number one, Sam Matavisi at two, and then number three. They have gone with Luke Tangi, so strong in the front row department. With the help of Sam Matavisi, they may look for that rolling mall, try and put Wales on the back foot. But we can certainly guarantee in the four packs, it's going to be very physical. And number four is Soana Sila Sila, and then number five, Ti Ahuaru Vita. So the combination that they have been using throughout the Rugby World Cup warm-up games has proven effective. And the loose forward trail, it is Albert Tuisui at number six. Number seven, they have gone with Lakima Tangi Tangi Valu. The man had a tremendous performance in the game up against England. So I believe that that pick is based off form. And Tangi Tangi Valu looking to have a real impact. Number eight, they have gone with Viliami Mata, another man who's been playing well throughout the Rugby World Cup warm up games. Looking through at the back line, it is Frank Lamani as the starting number nine with Tite Teller. At 10, that is due to the injury that we saw of Caleb Muntz. Unfortunately, has been ruled out for this whole Rugby World Cup competition. I did see the news, though, that Villamoni Botitu will be added into the side rather than Ben Vula Vula. So that does mean for now, Tite Teller is the first choice fly half out on the left wing. I mentioned him a little bit earlier on. Vinaya Habosi, very dangerous with the ball in hand, has a lot of speed, also has that power that may Put Reece Samet under pressure. In the midfield combination, it is Semir Adrara and number 12 and number 13, BMYC and Nyat the Levu, the same combo that they had in that game up against England. Number 14, Celestino Ravatamanda, who was man of the match in that game. And then number 15 to close out the starting lineup for Fiji, it is Eliza. Throw a CC looking through at the bench for the flying Fijians, Tavita Ikanaviri at number 16, Pini Ravai at 17. And Masaki Dongay as the number 18. Timo Maia Navanua at 19 with number 20. Ben Lavani Botia. Now the benefit that they have with Botia is he can play 7 
can also play 12 if they do need another option. In that department, number 21, Simeone Kuravuli, 22, Joshua Tuisova, and number 23 to close out the Fiji inside, Sarelli Mangwala. So they have certainly got plenty of power coming off the bench for the Fijians, plenty of speed as well, matching up quite nicely with Wales throughout this game. And I cannot wait to see these two sides in action, but thank you all very much for tuning into this lineups video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We will be doing the live commentary of this match at the time that it has taken place, which is 7 a.m. on Monday morning New Zealand time. Should be an absolutely awesome one, but thank you all very much for tuning in. I will see you all for the next one.